welcome back. My name is Jim Logan, and this is part eight in my series of videos designed to help Texas high schoolers prepare for all region band. Uh, this video is going to focus on the ATSSB slow uh, etude, etude number one, which is page 59, number 13. This etude also is uh, for uh, 6A schools. Um, it is their slow etude as well. So uh, right now I'm gonna just perform, play for you from the beginning down to 16. I have a few short comments um, and I would encourage everybody to go back and look at uh, videos number five and six, uh, in which I talk uh, a good deal about this etude as well for more information. But for right now, let's just focus on performing this. I'm um, setting the metronome at 58. As always, make sure you're counting yourself off before you begin. One, ready. Make sure you hold it all the way to to, uh, to beat three there. I almost ran out of breath. So uh, in terms of tempo, uh, you know, it's marked 54 to 63. Breathing is a big, uh, a big concern here. Um, I would try to avoid adding breaths. You can take breaths away in faster etudes. That's not a, that's not an issue. But if you're adding breaths, uh, that may show uh, a weakness in terms of breath support and getting enough air and everything. So try to avoid adding breaths. If you do have to add a breath, try and find a wise place to do so. And I might uh, discuss that in a, in, a, in a later video. Because breathing is an issue, and because I'm saying we try to avoid adding breaths, I would frankly add, I would uh, perform this uh, a little on the, on the quicker side. Now I had it at, at 58. It does say 63, 50, what, 54 to 63 on the ATSSB sheet here. So, you know, you could you could go a little quicker, but you know, you, you solve some problems, this problem being I don't have to breathe as often, but you create other problems because some of these faster passages are gonna go that much quicker. So make sure that whatever you decide, um, you're able to pull it off from a tempo standpoint. Uh, okay, so, um, Another issue for a number of students is subdividing and counting. Again, <clears throat> I touched on this in, in five and six. I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on it and make sure that, for example, in measure um, eight, that you're subdividing eighth notes on this dotted quarter note and playing this rhythm correctly. So, always a good idea to be practicing with a metronome. I'm gonna move the metronome down to down to sixty, and we're gonna talk about uh, subdivisions here. So I'm going to subdivide this into eighth notes. You just need to do that a bunch of times so you feel the beat and a half there. I would encourage you, strongly urge you, to play that C sharp on the right side following the D so that we keep all of the motion in one hand. Adding another hand, uh, I don't think is the way to go here. One more time so with subdivision. And, and maybe not even worry about the 30 second notes, just play. Okay, so I lied, it's not one more time. This is one more time. So you hear how long that dotted quarter note should be. Now we're gonna play the dotted quarter note as written, but in our mind we're thinking, ba, 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 da, 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 dum, and. 
okay? It's important we get that rhythm right. A lot of people are going to miss that rhythm. Measure 12. Here's another rhythm a lot of people will miss. This dotted eighth note. Now we're going to be subdividing into 16th notes. Run the low A to D to F sharp. Again. One more time. Okay. Now we're going to play as written. Ba -da -dum, while we think in our head. Ba 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 dum. Then add the beat before the sixteenth note. Again. I can't stress in strong enough terms the importance of working on two beats or three beats or four beats at a time here. Not three measures, five measures, six measures. Okay, fix wherever the problem is. It could be a two note interval. All right, I think that's enough for this video. Uh, stay tuned to this channel for more uh, more videos. My email address is, is listed at the end of this. If you have any questions or concerns or things you want me to talk about that I'm not talking about, shoot me an email. I'll do it. Take care. Be well. Practice hard. Good luck.